Hi, I'm Krista with the Big Family Homestead and today I'm going to show you how I make our healthier honey wheat bread. So now this recipe is healthier than our Amish white bread recipe that we've been making uh, because I've changed up the ingredients just a teeny tiny bit. I've added uh, half of the flour is wheat flour. I am using coconut oil as opposed to vegetable oil and I'm using honey instead of sugar. Now for our ingredients we have four cups of whole wheat flour that I have ground. I have a half a cup of melted coconut oil three tablespoons of yeast, two tablespoons of salt, a half a cup or more of honey, I don't really measure it, I just kinda dump it in there, and four cups of water, and then we'll use four to five cups of white flour. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to dissolve the honey in our very, very warm water. This is almost too hot to touch, but by the time I dissolve the honey in there, it's going to come down a little bit in temperature. So now I'm going to put this honey water into our fantastic Bosch mixer. I absolutely love this thing. It makes kneading bread so easy. And then to this I'm going to add our yeast. Don't lose all the goodness. And then I'm going to let this sit for about five to ten minutes so that it gets nice and bubbly so it know, I know that it is activated. Okay, so you see these little bubbles here that is showing that the, this is proof that the, the yeast is active. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our coconut oil. And I'm going to add about half of our wheat flour and then give this a good mix. You don't wanna add too much wheat flour at once. Uh, too much flour will make brick loaves. I know, I've made them before. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of our wheat flour. Give that a good mix. I love the top. No poofy. No poofing. Okay, so now I'm going to add a cup of white flour at a time so that we don't have too much flour and overwork the dough and it becomes like a brick. I'm gonna go ahead and add the salt now too, so I don't forget. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for your dough to pull away and kind of clump together um, so that it's not so sticky and then you'll know you're done with adding flour. This is what you're looking for where it's all clumped together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on a higher speed and let this knead for five to eight minutes. All right, now we're ready to get this out onto a floured counter and just knead it for a little bit and put it into a uh, bowl that's coated with oil. Something happened to my spatula. It got stuck in the dough. So you see how nice and smooth our dough is. We're just gonna knead this just a minute, just a few seconds just to get it into a nice bowl. And then we're going to go ahead and put this into an oiled bowl and cover it with a warm tea towel, wet, warm tea towel. Here we go. Now we're gonna let this sit and let it rise for an hour until this is doubled in size. Then we're gonna knock it down and cut it into four loaves. All right, so we've waited our time and our dough has risen to where it's doubled. Look at how pretty that is. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of flour onto our counter here. I like using this plastic sheet. It makes cleanup a whole lot easier. All right, now I'm not going to do anything to this except go ahead and divide it into four sections. So we're gonna roll these into a ball, just like that. 
I don't want to overwork the dough. I just want to roll it into a ball and then we're going to roll it into a log. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over to where you have the ugly side up, give it a good squish for just a little bit, and then you're going to roll it into a log. Place it into your bread pan and then press it down to where it fills the corners, just like so. Press it down, roll it into a log, press it down into the pan. So I'm going to cover these with a warm, wet tea towel and I'm going to let these rise for 30 minutes while the oven is heating up to 350 degrees. All right, they've been rising for 30 minutes and they are coming to the top of the bread pans. It is time to go ahead and put them in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Time's up. Would you look at that? A healthier than all white flour bread. This honey wheat bread is going to be delicious. I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.